Oh my god! Oh my god, he's shaking! Well, that started with a bang, didn't it? <laughs> I like to say that that was Govan, but uh, no, it's no. That's uh, an incident that took place uh, once again in London. Uh, Clapham, to be um, precise. Now, that's been released um, by the Metropolitan Police. And in this clip here, you can see the hooded figure of the shooter. Jesse James there, and this dude here, he's off his mark. Now, I'll just talk a wee bit about it. They've no, um, I think they know who the victim is because a guy showed up at a hospital not quite, you know, not very long after this with uh, shotgun pellets in his leg, but they've not been able to ascertain if he was definitely part of it or indeed who this dude is in this vehicle that he came out of. Now apparently this was false plates on it because this bus here has got a dash camera on it and it's right behind it so you know there's not been no uh, sign of the car or anybody in it but anyway it says that 21.46 that's uh, quarter to ten. <laughs> I thought I'd let you know that. Officers were alerted to a 24 year old man who had presented at South London Hospital suffering from a gunshot wound to the leg. The, victim, the victim's injuries were declared not life-threatening and he has since been discharged from the hospital. Detectives have linked this injured person to the above reported shooting. <laughs> now that happened at um, 2131. So the, the shooting took place at just after half past nine and less than 15 minutes later there was a guy at the hospital Said he'd a shotgun, blasted his leg. So, uh, it didn't take much of the detective to work that one out, but right, bravo. Um, it says here, it says, a male gets out holding a pump-action shotgun and then he runs towards the victim. Which I thought was a bit strange because, here's a bit of news for you, you don't need to run towards a victim when you've got a pump-action shotgun. You just aim it at them. And if they move, you move the gun. You don't bodily have to run after them, is that, is that not right? Is that not what you do when you're clay shooting? See when, the, see, when, see when the guy shouts, PULL! Does the guy jump out of the trap and starts fucking running about the field trying to shoot these pigeons? No, he just, he just moves his gun around, doesn't he? And he can get them for quite a distance. So, this particular boy wasn't really aware of what he had in his possession at the time of the shooting. Either that or he's just a fucking a waster. Anyway, the victim ran off and as the suspect returned to the car and drove off, the car has uh, not been recovered. A shell case, a shell, Jesus, a shell casing was recovered at the scene. At this stage, there's been no arrest, so they're basically encouraging you to uh, phone the grass line. So, you know, if you're that way inclined, well, that's up to you. So anyway, let's have another look at this. Right, okay, first things first, folks. The opening sort of sequence here, we have this vehicle. Now, the shooter's in here, and this is the the target. Now, the target is um, just standing at the, that street corner there. Now, it looks to me like he's waiting for somebody. You know, it looks to me like, you know, he's not waiting a bus, you know, and it's unlikely to be uh, a taxi. So, I believe that he's been lured there, possibly by the people in the in the vehicle here. Because it's not just a random shot, I don't believe it's totally random, because, you know, you're not likely just to clock him standing there. I mean, although they, you could, it's still, there's still a bit of light there. But anyway, let's play this and you'll see what happens. It develops quite fast. Now, if you look, he sees that car. He looked towards that car, so he's either seen them clocking him, but they, that guy's out that car fast. See him? He's already out the car before the car stopped. Now, he hit his leg there. That's where he was hitting, but he's got the fight or flight mode, and he's He's right into flight mode right now. But if you look over here, 
to this guy in the cafe. He's heard that bang and he's looked out the window. So I'm not only looking at him, I'm watching him in there. So watch, keep watching, folks. God! Oh my God, he's shaking! So, so the guy in here's ducked. The target's gone and the shooter's heading back, right? So there's the guy back up against here. And here's a view from the the bus. It's over in seconds really, isn't it? And really the, the motor just disappears. It, sh it shows you quite good, the enhancement's quite good, isn't it? How they've been able to create an enhancement window, a bubble around that vehicle. Uh, it's really quite good, that software that they use, but... And if you look, look over here at the cafe, you'll see the guy looking out the window. Then he's down, he's ducking. And then he's back up, I can't really see what's going on. But I mean, doesn't it take away the seriousness of this? You know, this this idiot here uh, with the gun, he's just firing that random, and it could have went through the window here and hit people, or there could have been anyone standing about, or it could have ricocheted off all sorts of places, or went down this street. So that's the danger. You know, we don't care if they kill each other, right? It's who gets caught up, who gets caught up in the mayhem. Um, surrounding it, isn't it? That's really what the issue is. It's not really about what happens to them. But we'll have another wee look at it. Just to point that been invited, didn't it? Oh my god! Oh my god, he's shaking! There you go, folks. I've actually, I think I've actually seen pictures of the um, the guy's leg. It's a bit of a mess. If I can find that, I'll, I'll drop that in just for the the more macabre viewer, <laughs> the more sadistic viewer out there, because there are quite a few, so, ju judging by the comments he's sending me, uh, telling me to go and miss all know that, you know? Anyway, listen folks, if you like the uh, content, hit the like button, um, share and subscribe. Now I've got, this, this is, as I said before I go, this is, uh, this is all part of a sort of London crime series I'm sort of looking at, because there's a lot of stuff going on in London, so... Um, watch this space. Peace out.